hi guys welcome back to my channel I had mentioned in a comment uh, on my last video that I was actually going to be talking about dry skin uh, for my video for this video but I decided to not do that right now I feel like um, we have got to start from the very beginning so some of you might find this video boring some of you might not see I, I like the structure of the skin and I I I think God is amazing because of how he has created us. So today I really want to focus on the primary functions of the skin. And the primary functions of the skin are protection. Our bodies are created with this the largest organ which is the skin which protects us from the outside elements um and also the microorganisms and anything of any foreign uh, any foreign nature that's going to try to attack our insides that's what our skin is for that's its first form of defense is the barrier that being as a barrier um through uh for our bodies okay so that's the number one function of the skin a barrier for protection the second function of the skin would be for sensation okay whether you're having you know nice soft kiss or um, you're being burned and I want to make sure that you know my skin is functioning when I'm being burned you know I want to make sure that I know when I'm being burned so you're able to feel that which is amazing you know and the fact that the skin can actually repair itself is just beautiful also in the skin you're gonna find the sebum which is um, actually you know oil is from your you know the oil that your skin produces is also a, a barrier and a coating that lies on top of your skin which helps to keep the germs from entering our bodies and how that works is our our sebum mixed in with a sweat make um, a thing called acid mantle which is very is, is more acidic in nature and because it's acidic it tends to kill off any bacteria all right and also the melanin that our body produces that our skin produces keeps our uh, protects our bodies from the Sun so that nice dark color that you get when you tan is actually a form of protection also it is a heat regulator and um, it keeps us from either overheating or freezing to death you know it regulates depending in what environment we're in which is very important you know and it does that through either constriction of our blood vessels or um, throughout the expelling of the heat through the million hair follicles that we have on our bodies through the sebaceous oil glands also so um, that's another that's another uh, function of the skin also it um, it excretes and that that's a funny word but how it excretes is um, through perspirating when you perspire you're actually detoxifying your body by excreting excess salts and chemicals that your body does not need especially through working out especially like a vigorous workout you want to make sure that you shower immediately especially if you're prone to body acne um, you know in the chest and in the back um, you need to make sure that you immediately shower and remove that because if you don't as your skin dries that's a film that is just sitting on your skin that film which is composed right now at this moment all that sweat that's just sitting on your skin it's toxins and chemicals and excess salts that you know your body is getting out of the system and that's the reason why it's so important to exercise and work out so just make sure that after you work out any form make sure that you go shower and remove that you know and um, your body your skin also secretes and how it secretes is through your sebaceous glands which is your oil glands okay your oil glands are actually connect it's they're they're connected to your hair follicle all right so through your hair each and every hair follicle there's these little sacs inside your skin and that's where the oil is being produced and that oil is traveling up 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 the hair follicle and it's it, it's coating your skin and your hair you know that's why some people have oilier hair than others and oilier skin than others or the body on the face whatever point blank is that your sebum that is coming up from sebaceous glands is actually um, 
keeping your your skin and your hair soft <clears throat> And it also helps to retain the water that is in your skin because it's a coating, okay? So that is very important. It just helps to maintain the water level within your cells. And that's a whole nother subject. Also, um, another thing is absorption your skin absorbs okay and it's a it can be a good thing or it can be very detrimental you know depending on what you're using okay um your skin absorbs topical products and medications through your hair follicles and the sebaceous glands okay um the the um absorption is limited but many chemicals and ingredients still enter and per, per, oh, I'm sorry, you can't speak, permeate or penetrate your skin through the hair follicles. Um, depending on the size of the molecule, if the molecule is too large of an, in, in, in the specific ingredient, it will not, it will not um, penetrate your skin, okay? And also your skin, you know, we'll be talking about that definitely because there's one specific uh, ingredient, collagen, that they rave about that technically it cannot penetrate your skin. It actually sits on top of your skin um, forming a film and it just gives you the illusion of a plumper of uh, skin, but it's not. But we'll get to that in another subject, in another time. Also, your skin breathes, so it's actually absorbing oxygen and also discharging carbon dioxide, okay? So I really wanted to touch on this. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep looking just to make sure to see how much time I have. Because, um, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to bore you guys, and I just really want to keep these short because, seriously, I don't care how interesting it might sound. Sometimes even 10 minutes is just too long, you know? Um, but I really wanted to speak about these things so you guys are able to understand, better understand how your skin really functions uh, and what its main job was to do and is to mainly do those things, okay? And as long as we're, you know, have proper nutrition and I know it sounds so cliche, but water, 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 because that really does flush out the system, especially, especially through, you know, perspiring, you know what I mean? Because you're, you're literally, again, you're detoxifying your body and as you're drinking that water, um, you know, you're flushing out the, the your, your system and it all comes out through your pores. So it's, it's very, important that you really do take care of yourself 